Well, I'm here to talk about a show that was ended in a dramatic cliffhanger. Well, not too dramatic. Not like prison school cliffhangers, but this. In episode 6 of Masa Kuno Revenge, I like to discuss about what the fuck, like, what the fuck, guys? Like, come on. Okay, I understand how cliffhangers work when something so dramatic happens, despite everything that has went, despite everything that has happened, and we all know how that works, whereas we want to solve the whole cliffhanger situation. That's what they did. And the issue is kind of a big of a deal. Hey, she, hey, guys, remember last week when Queen Bitch told Pickfoot, I'm going to keep saying that. Because that's their code name. But anyway, Queen Bitch and Bigfoot, she she asked him to kiss him. And then all of a sudden, as soon as about to kiss, she's just like uppercut. So I'm like, what the fuck? Is this, what the fuck? That's it? That's all? We get so many scenes of the dramatic kissing of all time in every anime. But this? This? Uh-uh. This is why... This is why I don't ship those two. This is why I don't ship those two, guys. If it was me, after watching six episodes, the only shipping I'm down with him is with him and and Yoshino. That's it. You know, pick. You know, um, the, the assistant. That's how um, the Aki's assistant. You know, and that's it. I'm shipping that. But the others, I'm not buying it. I'm not. Unless something, unless someone makes the first movie kiss him, then I can say I respect him. But I, right now it's just Yoshino and and Masumi for the win. That's it. But in episode 6, you know, it, it, it's showing more the brighter sides of things, where the war shipping has been escalated more. And if there's one person who escalated that shipping was I can't believe I'm saying this. The MC's mother. Like, like, surprisingly, that little girl is the mom? Really? I mean, that's shocking still to this day after watching the first episode and up till now. But after the first six episodes, after watching the first six episodes, I'm still shocked that she is the mother. Like, literally the mother. The only... T and, that's not ha and that's not the last time that shocked me. The most shocking... The most shocking parenting wise when it like little girls or little guy, you know, as mother and father thing, the most shocking thing I saw was was like Love Live Sunshine. You know, if you watch Love Live Sunshine, if you're a huge fan of Love Live, you can see Chica, the main girl, and the one behind her that was her mother. I'm like, I thought that was a sister. And another shocking thing was my wife is a student council president. And if you guys have watched my wife as a student council president, you know, that fan service, edgy type shit. And the mom and dad, they showed it and they're like, they're little. And they're like 30, 40 years old. And they produce a good body like that. That's what I'm saying. But in Masa Makun episode, but in Masa Makun Revenge, his mother is so like, it's like, is she freaking... She's 40? For that age, she's 40 to produce those two kids? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how the father looks like. I hope the father's the same, like a, like a kid age like that. To see how that produced those two, peak, those two, the two kids. I'm just like shocked. But, again, Yoshino and, and, uh, Christian girl, I'm just gonna put her, I don't know her name like that. Sorry about that. But, they trying to make a move. To help, to to help um, Pigsfoot trying to embrace, you know, his talents, and while Yoshino is like trying to remember all the good times, like wearing out the fireworks, putting up experiment, I can see how I can see where this shipping development is going on. I can see why, but if you're trying to make a move on Aki Shine, you know, Queen Bitch. Don't use lines that's just gonna reflect on that because it's not gonna work. And this talking about revenge, this has nothing to do with revenge. After watching this right now, after watching episode six and moving on to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or whatever, you, we, I'm, it's like 
the war is still going to be escalated and the shipping is going to arise when one person, when, when one girl make a move on him and kiss him and then the war just going like fight, 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 fight. It's like the, it's like the Poke shipping and the more shipping and all the other shippings of Pokemon, which I for one am a Poke shipper and the hell with the others. But episode six of Masa Makuno Revenge was really great. It emphasized on the whole love quarrel in, in his life right now. And while while introducing the mother doing most of the development with her shrimp technique, who am I to say she has been like to me the MVP of this episode by helping by gathering our friends, his friends, and trying to make a move and trying to plot devious ways. But the ending, the ending is so crazy. Well, not really. Before the credits, she, the new girl, got a photo of Pigfoot and Queen Bitch as little kids. So I don't know if she's like remember him as a little fat kid. Or something else in between. I don't know. But other than that, ep next week, episode 7, which which we're bound to see, it will be another uh, war between four, three girls so far. And the fourth one, the class rep, we'll, we'll probably see in this sh war shipping sometime soon. And that's it for now. Oh, and by the way, episode 6, at a scale of 1 to 10, I'm sorry about this, but I'll give it... I give it an eight, you know, really decent, really funny. The, not another cliffhanger, but it ended in the re, the solve the solving problem of the cliffhanger that ended with the kiss. Now we know what happened, so that's it. So tune in next week for episode seven of Masa Makuno Revenge.